All right, so let's talk about discontinuities. Discontinuities are basically a break in a graph, and rational functions can have two different types of discontinuities. Infinite, which looks like a vertical asymptote, and a hole, which looks like basically an open circle. It's a point that's been removed. So we're gonna talk about how to find these two types of discontinuities. So first of all, what you would do is you start with your, fun your rational function, and as we did in many of the other parts, you factor it. Then you identify, so first of all you factor, but you would have already done this to find some of the other stuff. And then secondly, you identify excluded values. Because at every excluded value, there is going to be a discontinuity. So here, we have an excluded value of the negative one and a positive one. Now, here's the key. After you found the excluded values, and only after you found them, you simplify the fraction. So we have an x plus 1 here that cancels out, right? So the factor that was there has been removed from the bottom of the fraction. So that means that the number that came from that, the negative 1, has been removed from the fraction. So that means that this is a removable discontinuity. If it stays there, like the x minus 1 does, doesn't go away and it's still on the bottom, then that's an infinite discontinuity. It's going to be there for all time. Now, when you're writing what these are, you write infinite discontinuities as a vertical asymptote. And since it's a vertical line, it's x equals that number. When you're doing a removable, it's basically like an open circle. So you need to know where to place the open circle. So when you look at the simplified version of this fraction, if you plug that negative 1 into the simplified version, you would get negative 7 over negative 2, 7 halves. That's what the y value would be if negative 1 wasn't an excluded value. So that's where you're going to put the whole. It's going to be a negative 1, comma, what you get when you plug in that number into the simplified version. So this is a whole at negative 1 comma 7 halves. So you're going to simplify your fraction, you're going to identify your discontinuities, and write them appropriately. All right, so go to the bottom of the page and we will work that one in, in quick succession. So pause the video. First, we're going to factor. Then we're going to identify the excluded values with the denominator equals 0. Then we're going to simplify the fraction. Then any factors that have been removed from the denominator, they are removable discontinuities. Any that are still in the denominator are infinite discontinuities. The infinite discontinuity is a vertical asymptote. And we get the coordinates of the removable discontinuity for the whole by plugging that number into the simplified version. And there you go.